Hey, Elise Pickett here with the Urban Harvest, and today I am going to show you how to harvest your sweet potatoes. The question I get all the time from my clients and at my workshops that I teach is, when is it time to harvest the sweet potatoes? Uh, especially if you plant it in late spring, early summer, um, fall comes around, you're ready to get that bed going for other uses. In other parts of the country, you know it's time to start harvesting when the tips of the vines start to turn brown, wither, and die. Here in Florida, we don't get those cold temperatures, so the sweet potato vine is essentially perennial here, um, so we don't have that kind of indicator or that clue that it's time or it's ready. Luckily, uh, there's kind of a no harm, no foul when you're harvesting sweet potatoes. So uh, my best advice is to just start checking. Um, look where you originally planted your initial vine or initial uh, seed, potato seed, and start digging around there and explore a little bit. And if you find a couple that are semi-well developed, it's probably time to go ahead and dig the bed. That's usually at least four to five months after you initially started planting it. But like I said, here in Florida, it's a give or take. So this bed has a nice sized sweet potato right near the surface. That's my clue that it is time to harvest this bed, um, especially since I want to plant it for fall. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start excavating the bed. Um, I would suggest, now I'm a, I'm a hands in the dirt kind of a girl, but uh, you certainly don't have to use your hands, but I would suggest um, being careful with what implements you do use, because if you use um, anything that's got tines on it that's sharp and pokey, um, you can potentially pierce the sweet potatoes as you're digging through the bed. That can lead to the root uh, rotting much quicker than it would otherwise. Uh, so you're going to want to try to dig out all of the potatoes as best you can without um, scratching or bruising them too much. At this stage they will bruise kind of easily. So just gently pulling the soil away and piling up your sweet potatoes. There you have it, a nice sized sweet potato grown in your own garden. Um, there's going to be a lot more in here so I'm going to go ahead and keep on digging and see how many more I can find. If you're looking to maximize your yield on your sweet potatoes, um, I did do another video on planting and all that, so um, I've got the link right there for you guys to check that video out. If you're digging around and finding some that are a little on the small side, uh, there's nothing wrong with just burying them back in. If you haven't already cut all of the vine off it, just leave maybe a small tendril or two coming off the vine. You don't even have to do that, but it'll just keep it going pretty quickly. I and mean, just leave them buried and they'll keep on growing for you. I opted to only harvest two today. Definitely nice sized sweet potatoes here. Most of the other sweet potatoes that I was finding in the bed were maybe about half this size. And I'd rather just give them the time to get to a decent size than harvest them a little young. You absolutely can, they're still good to go. I love sweet potato as a ground cover, a living ground cover, so I'll go ahead and since I've opened up the bed, I'll be able to plant in some of my fall crops. I'll just select things that are taller while the bed is open, that gives those, those crops times to grow in. And then the uh, sweet potato will again cover the bed, continue growing all of the other sweet potatoes that I did leave in the ground, and I'll try again in a few months once I'm ready to turn over the crops that I plant for fall. So here's where a little tiny bit of patience comes in. Um, now that you've harvested your sweet potatoes, if you want them to actually be sweet, uh, you have to wait about two weeks or so. Brush the dirt off and then set them in a nice, warm, humid environment. We happen to have plenty of that here in Florida. Give them about two weeks or so to cure. And then at that point, you can either eat them or if you have a lot of them, you can store them. Um, storing them in a cool, um, humid environment is best, so I usually will uh, bring them in the house, maybe um, put them towards the back of the pantry for long-term storage. If you're really looking to maximize storage life, um, wrapping them in a piece of newspaper will help with that. 
Um, they'll last about six months if properly stored. Video helpful and you're now more comfortable with how to harvest, when to harvest your sweet potato crop, uh, please leave me a comment below, I'd love to hear. And if you have any other questions about storage or other root crops, anything like that, do leave me a comment and I will try to get back to you as quick as I can. Um, while you're down there, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and give my video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And I will see you all next week.